Do model releases sound complicated? Don't worry, here are some quick tips to help you fill them in correctly. Hello, welcome to the Getty Images Creative Channel, I'm Kelvin. Please click like and subscribe if you find these videos useful. Whether you use paper or an approved digital app to create model releases is mostly a matter of personal preference. For simplicity today though, we'll look at releases printed on paper. First, we need to download the model release and print it off. You can find the enhanced version of the Getty Images release on our contributor site. In the first section, fill in your info, write your name and sign it. For printed releases, all dates and all signatures must be written by hand. That means real ink on real paper. Digital signatures are not valid. You can't use any form of e-signature. Add in the date that you signed the release and be sure to use the correct date format. This may be different from what's standard in your own country. The release uses the format month, day, year. Next, add the shoot date. And also, please note that this date must be the same as the image file's creation date. For this section, it could be a single date that you shot on, or it can be up to five days, but it cannot exceed five consecutive days. Then add in your country and state or province. Finally, add an accurate shoot description, such as woman gardening. It's vital to mention any culturally sensitive topics in the shoot description, such as people in their underwear, nudity, implied nudity, and anything that may be sexually suggestive. This indicates to us what the model agreed to release when they signed the release. Next, we need the model info. You or the model can fill in their details, but they must sign and date it themselves. Write their name and their date of birth. We need the model's contact info too. Be sure it's clearly written. This info is kept confidentially on file by Getty Images and would only ever be used if there were a legal query or dispute. Finally, the model needs to sign and date the release using the correct format, again using real ink on real paper. If your model's a minor or lacks the legal capacity to sign, their guardian can complete this part for them. Ask the model to also fill in the ethnicity and gender sections. Although voluntary, it's in their interest to be correctly represented. Plus, you need the model's correct info for your content to be found in searches. You can only use the info that the models provide in these sections, so don't assume or guess how your model identifies. And that's the release filled in, but it's not quite complete yet. Next, we need to scan it or take a photo of it. Many people just use their phones for this. The final step is to add a visual reference image, which is simply a portrait of the model that shows their face clearly. You can add this in using your image editing tool of choice. Make sure that your scanned release is legible, and then you can attach it to your shots when you submit them. Please note, if you're shooting with other contributors, each model needs to sign a release for each of the contributors that are shooting. Also, we need a new release for each shoot, even if the models are members of your own family. The only exception to this is for self-portraits. For selfies, you can provide a catch-all release that covers any photo of you taken at any time, and you can add catch-all in large friendly letters at the top of the release to help our inspectors. And if you'd like some tips to help you explain releases to models, please see our other video. It's also linked in the description below. If you shoot lifestyle but you're not yet an iStock or Getty Images creative contributor, please click the work with us link in the description to apply to join us and use the code provided. Thanks for watching.